Hi, everybody. Dr. Brett Schur, medical director at dietdoctor.com. I want to tell you about another new po news post we have on our website at dietdoctor.com under the news section. This one talks about low-carb diets, protein, and your kidney health. Now, a few months ago, we published uh, an evidence-based guide on low-carb and kidney health. And our conclusion was if you have normal or even just mildly reduced kidney function, that there's no evidence that the levels of protein that most people eat on a low-carb diet, which is considered moderate in the 20 to 30% range, the 1.2 to 1.7 milligrams per kilogram of reference body weight per day. I know that's a lot of numbers, but it's a moderate level of protein, that there's no evidence that that level of protein intake is harmful at all to your kidneys. Now, if you have severe kidney dysfunction or um, you know pre-dialysis, then yes, there is evidence that that protein uh, can be detrimental in that circumstance. But these two uh, new articles um, that were published uh, on nephrology, dialysis, and transplantation claimed that low-carb diets uh, with that level of protein harmed kidney function and that it was sort of a linear effect that the more protein you ate, the more likely you are to experience trouble with your kidneys in the future. So this was a little concerning to read the title because again, it's like, whoa, this goes against what we just said on our evidence-based guide. We better make sure what's going on here. So I did a little bit of a deeper dive into these studies. Um, so the first one, make sure I get the numbers right, was 2,255 patients who had had a history of a heart attack in the past. And this was the usual observational study. They filled out a food frequency questionnaire and then were just followed over time and the data was crunched. And what they found was people who had um, a higher intake of protein did have sort of a sharper decline in kidney function. Now, everybody had a slight decline in their kidney function on average. Um, all the groups did, but those who had a higher level of protein intake had a faster decline. But here's what's so interesting. And again, I want to get these numbers right. Those who ate more than 1.2 grams per kilogram per day averaged 2,250 calories per day with um, 268 grams of carbohydrates, okay? Those who ate less than 0 0.8 grams per kilogram per day, so the lower protein intake, had 1,300 calories. That's almost 1,000 calories per day less than the higher protein group. And they ate 173 grams of carbohydrate, carbohydrates per day, almost 100 grams less of carbohydrates per day. But what was the conclusion? That the higher protein causes the kidney dysfunction. Why can't you just conclude that the higher carbohydrate causes the kidney dysfunction? Because it's the exact same group. So a couple take-homes. One, it could have been the carbs. It didn't have to be the protein. But two, this is not a low-carb diet. I mean, how in the world is this low-carb if they're eating... 268 grams of carbohydrates per day, and the low group was eating 173 grams of carbohydrates per day. So again, we have to know more than what's in the headlines because this it's dangerous to make a conclusion from this to say, well, if you are on a low carb diet, that protein's going to kill your kidneys because this diet or this sorry this study has absolutely no relevance to that comment. Okay, well the second study wasn't all that much better. So it was 9,000 people, so better. Uh, it was out of Korea. They were followed for 13 years. And the data, again, came from the food frequency questionnaires, which we know are pretty unreliable and pretty faulty way to get information. So right away, you're dealing with some questionable information. Um, and those who ate the lowest amount of protein, they averaged 0. 0.6 grams per kilogram per day. They had 4.3 grams per kilogram per day of carbohydrates. So they didn't list the total carbohydrates, but they did the grams per kilogram. So 4.3 of carbs. So those who ate more protein, 1.7, um, had 7.3 grams per kilogram per day of carbohydrates. So that's almost 60% more grams of carbohydrates. Same thing as the other study. They blame the protein, but how do we know it's not the carbohydrates? And that's a ton of carbohydrates. This, there's nothing low carb about this study. All, but also it doesn't stop there, right? They also were more likely, if you had more protein, you're more likely to smoke, more likely to drink alcohol and ha have a higher level of fasting glucose. So why don't we conclude that higher levels of protein cause you to smoke? They force you to drink more alcohol. Well, of course we're not gonna conclude that. We just know that it happens to be the people who who eat more protein, happen to smoke or happen to drink. It's just as this study of Koreans showed, that's what the population does. Well, what else do they do that's unhealthy? The study doesn't look at any of that. So we cannot say the protein hurts their kidney function. So in the end, 
these studies do nothing to make us change our policy. There's no credible evidence. There's no high quality evidence to suggest there's any danger to your kidneys uh, with the level of protein consumption seen on low carb diets. All right. So I hope that was helpful because these are some headlines that are probably going to worry some people about protein and their kidney function. But for most of us, it just simply does not apply. All right. You can read more um, at dietdoctor.com on our news section, and please make sure you hit the subscribe button to the YouTube channel so you'll get more updates every time we have one for you. Thanks. Have a great day. 